there's been a lot of comparisons to, to Barack Obama. The comparisons are that I cut my teeth as a community organizer and so did Obama. Those were, are, are the connections. We both pursued uh, the legal route as well. So there are similarities and what's different is that I am less of a politician and more of a community organizer. We are going to be speaking truthfully to Montrealers about their real needs and addressing their real needs in a very, very poignant and targeted way. We are not going to be uh, going and circumventing the tough issues. We're going to be hitting them face on. And I think that's a big difference between Obama and I. Balarama Holness is a jurist, an activist, and a Grey Cup winner. Now he's running for mayor of Montreal. I sat down with him to learn why he's running, as well as what he believes he can get accomplished if he gets the position. You're going to be expected to do a lot for the black community. Do you think you're going to be able to? I am running for mayor to be mayor for all Montrealers. And there are Montrealers in boroughs on the periphery of the island that are marginalized, that are not listened to, their voices are not heard. And those individuals are disproportionately visible minorities, immigrants, and they have never been tended to. And a homeless administration is going to ensure that those on the periphery of the island, well, they are given attention, they are given support, that the budget, the $7 billion budget, is properly allocated to all different boroughs. If we look at the situation with Nakuset fighting to keep the warming tent at the Cabot Square and saying that the city is not doing enough to help her, do you have a plan to help uh, the homeless in Montreal? So we need an administration that doesn't just care about a warming tent. It's not just about a warming tent. It's an issue of housing. It's an issue of racial profiling. It's an issue of social support. So there's all these complex issues that are around this one particular instance that seems like it's in a silo, but it's not. It's a systemic issue that requires more support. And we've seen the provincial and municipal government provide support to the Native Women's Shelter. So there have been advancements, but we need to do more. Now we see that in, as of July, the STM, they're going to get constable uh, power. Yeah. They won't have weapons yeah. or guns, but they will have more authority. Can I get your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's something we are going to address. Uh, it was very interesting how the city administration recognized systemic discrimination and systemic racism, but now adding police-like powers to STM officials. There seems to be some challenges with that approach. And July 1st, Movement Montreal is going to have an official response in that regard, and it's going to be very clear. And we are going to be announcing candidates on that day to contest individuals who are at the forefront of this, no, most notably the vice president of the STM, who is an elected official uh, in Little Burgundy with Proje Montréal. We are going to ensure that Individuals that are pushing for these policies have clear competition and clear lines drawn, and Montreal's will make the decision. Do you want police like powers at the STM or don't you? And parties will have their clear line of what side they stand on, and Montreal's will decide who they want in office based on that and also many other policies that will be pushing to the forefront. The municipal election is set for November 7th in Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.